Oh hey guys, Simon here, and uh, not really a channel news, but more an unboxing video. So um, I brought two new hard drives for my computer. I don't buy equipment very often, as you can probably tell, because my computer is really old. Uh, but I bought two one terabyte uh, solid state hybrid drives from Seagate. So they're not, you know, purely solid state drives. They've got the uh, conventional, you know, platter, you know, the, the the spinny thing, the circle thing, that most hard drives come with. But it's got a solid state component to it, and so it improves the performance quite a bit using that technology. Actually, if you're interested, let's go to desktop. So this this thing is what I bought. I got bought two of these. I bought the uh, one terabyte version, and uh, yeah. So this thing, if you if you want to read all that, so yeah, so it's. It's got a solid state component and it's a conventional hard disk drive as well. So what I currently have is um I've got two three hundred meg gigabytes, three hundred gigabytes this one, uh hard drives, two of them in my laptop. Uh and I'm gonna replace both of them with one terabyte drives, which I've just bought here. And hopefully this will make games lag a little less, hopefully this will make Minecraft lag a lot less, and if nothing else, it's going to give me a lot more space to record videos. Because right now, like, I've got 100 gigabytes of free space in the second drive, which I use to, um, you know, record videos, but that's only like 100 gigs. Whereas, you know, after I put these two drives in, and if I don't, you know, fill up the second drive too much, then I'll have... what is that? 700 gigs to play with. So so right now I can record about one hour of footage, or like maybe like two hours of footage maximum before I have to kind of, you know, go back and, and then recompress the, the videos before I can continue. So after I do this, I should be able to, you know, whoa, play for like eight hours or something and then, and then compress the video. So then I, I don't have to stop and you know, I don't have to stop playing all the time, although I might want to. I don't want to spend eight hours continuously playing. So that's a hard drive ex enclosure. That's not what I'm interested in. So the idea is to put the old hard drives into these enclosures, so then I have two 300 gigabyte external drives as well to play with. And um, that's the hard drive. So I think this is like an OEM sort of thing. I mean, it's a pretty unspectacular sort of unboxing, right? It's basically just a drive. Can you guys see that? You know, it's, it's inside the, uh, the the anti-static bag still. I'm not going to take it out right now. Basically just two drives there. Uh, let me drop that. What does that say? Laptop solid state hard drive from Seagate. Um, 1000 gigabytes. And uh... Caution: Avoid excessive shock. Do not do not push on top cover or remove any label or seal. So fairly typically typical things made in China. Ha, huh, funny. Yeah, so I'm gonna put these in. Um, let me just what is that? This is random junk there. All right. So the idea. Hold on. Let me just um, switch this top. So I think I'll use Clonezilla to clone it. Like Seagate. They've got their own software, they've got their own, um, you know, um, hard drive management software that, that they give you, supposedly, so you can upgrade your things. But it doesn't run unless it detects a Seagate hard drive in your computer already. So the ones in my computer right now are not Seagate. And so then when, when I try to run this, it doesn't run. So I have to take my, I have to take out a hard drive, put, put one of these in, before it will even run. Actually, I might try putting this in the USB enclosure and to see if it'll, it'll run from the USB enclosure. It probably won't. Because, I mean, I don't, I don't actually want to... You know, I don't, I don't want to go straight. I don't want to kind of put these in. Like, I, I have to put one of them in and then clone C drive into the new drive and then take it back out, take the original C drive out, put this in the original first disk slot. And that doesn't even work because I have to clone the other one. Oh, actually, no, and then, and then put the, the other 
one terabyte drive on the external casing, and then put the original D drive back in, clone the D drive into the external casing, and then take the D drive, original D drive out, and then put the D new D drive in. So it, it involves a lot of kind of shuffling hard drives around inside the computer, which I'd rather not do. So if I can just put these uh, one terabyte drives into the external enclosures, clone the two hard drives into the two you know, external enclosures, and then just swap the both swap both drives at the same time, then I only have to open the computer once, which I think makes things a lot simpler. So I'm going to do that. So that's what I'm going to use the clonezilla to do. Let me just go back to this here. So I'm going to use clonezilla to do that. But I feel like it's probably going to take a long time to copy all this stuff. I might just kind of leave it until tonight when I go to sleep to set this up and let it go and let it clone away. Um, so yeah, I might come back when these are installed and then I'll, sh I'll tell you whether they're good or not. So it's going to take a while. I'll be back when that's done. Okay, wow. So that took far longer than it should have. So it was supposed to take maybe half a day to copy the stuff onto the new hard drives. It took me like three days to figure it out. And I'll spare you all the details. Suffice to say that it didn't work the first few times. Um, oh well, it's a pro tip. Anyway, so here we go. So now we have 900 gigabytes on C drive and then on 931 gigabytes on D drive. So I've, I've changed the hard drives over. I've got two terabytes of storage now. And uh, I haven't really noticed any performance improvements yet, but you know, well, I guess I'll find out and I'll tell you later. So the the smart way to do it, to uh, you know, back up your Windows drive if you're Vista, to back up the the drive that your you know your Vista is actually on your system partition, I said I guess you call it, is would be to uh, system maintenance. Uh, actually, no, we want to back up. Where's the backup? Backup and restore center. Backup your computer. So the smart thing to do is to back up computer. And then just back up your entire C drive. Anyway, that's not really going to find anything because I don't really have any um, extra drive plugged in. Extra drives plugged in at the moment, and none of them are <laughs> two terabytes big anyway. So what you really want to do is you is use this. I'm not going to go through all of it because I'm not doing it right now. So you back up your entire computer, or at least back up C drive, and then restore C drive using your Windows Vista installation disk, you go to um, Repair, I think, and then you can restore your whole computer. So that's the best way to do it, because well, what happened was when I tried to copy my old C drive onto the new hard drive, let me go back to this. So when I tried to copy the, the old C drive, which is now here, onto, onto one of the new hard drives, it found errors on the disk. So there were like bad sectors on the disk, which it's probably a bad thing. I mean, often it, it, it signals that your disk is about to fail if you're stuck in bad sectors. So I tried to copy it over. Bad sectors didn't work. I checked the disk for bad sectors, found like 10 of them, or maybe like 40 of them or something. And then, okay, fine. Tried to copy it again, found more bad sectors. So that's a really bad sign when you check once, find the bad sectors, and then go back, and then check again immediately after and find more. That's that's not a good sign. So I don't know if my old C drive is, is gonna die or not, but I did, it might. Doesn't really matter now. I've got new hard drives, so I guess it was a good timing that I got the new hard drives. Maybe. Um, yeah. So that that caused the problem, and then I tried to copy the the partition while ignoring the bad sectors, and then when I plugged in that copy, it it didn't boot. Like it wouldn't boot. I don't know why it wouldn't boot. I don't know if I. If it doesn't work, if you just copy the partition, I don't know if it's the software. I don't know if it's you know the problem with the uh, with the bad sectors or whatever it was, but it didn't boot. So then eventually I have to go back and and then do the Windows backup thing and back up the whole C drive, and then restore the whole C drive. But what you want to do is to back up the C drive onto an an extra disk, and then take out this C drive, put in your new hard drive, and then from the extra disk restore the C drive onto onto the other. So you kind of need an extra hard drive if you want to do this backup and restore thing to change hard drives. But that's probably the, the most reliable way to do it because the Windows backup thing, what it does is 
it will rebuild the, the Windows operating system on the new disk for you. Whereas if you just copy everything over, it's kind of like a different disk, but you just copy the files. It, I don't know, it maybe just doesn't work, I don't know. And this is why I don't really like to build my own computers or upgrade them anymore, because every th it seems like every time I try something like this, it always ends up much more trouble than I expect. Anyway, um, so there, there we go. The, the new hard drives are in, and uh, I need to clean up all of this crap, which is, you know, all, all this, all this crap. And I've got two extra external hard drives now, yay. Um, hmm. I don't know if I... no, 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 I'll, I'll, I'll save that later. Probably the next Minecraft video you see or something, I'll, I'll have some comments on whether or not it's faster or more responsive or whatever it is. Alright, I guess I'll stop it there, and, uh, yeah, pro tip, use the Windows Backup. Don't try to, uh... Well, that, that's the most reliable way to do it, so even if you have bad sectors, because it, it, it actively rebuilds the operating system, it's actually more reliable than just trying to copy over a partition. Hmm. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. Yay, upgraded hard drives, two terabytes.